Outside the federal building in Westwood, there's a clear divide. One side of the street bears a red flag with two stars that represents old Syria and those who support the president, Bashar al-Assad. You can make anyone look as, as bad as you want, but we know in our heart Dr. Bashar is a humanitarian. While the other corner stands waving a three-starred green flag, a statement of freedom and democracy, and those who stand against the regime. The great regime of Assad, there's nothing great about it except the greatness of the massacres it has committed. Amnesty International reports that since the beginning of the Freedom Revolution, almost 15,000 people have been killed, with tens of thousands more incarcerated. Tonight they're conflicted as they stand across from each other and debate who's killing the people of Syria. The terrorists in Syria, the armed rebels, it's not a secret anymore. It is not about terrorism other than the terrorism of that regime. Assad supporters say outlying countries like Saudi Arabia and Qatar are financing the rebels, who live in refugee camps in surrounding countries no while being supplied with weapons. No Our ideology is not to slaughter or to cut throats. We know which, whose ideology. This is the Takfiris, Salafis, Wahhabis, Al-Qaeda education. Okay, the Syrian army does not slash kids' throats. While well, several hundred anti-Assad protesters say there's only one predator, and Syrian civilians deserve freedom and democracy outside the regime. A regime that has ruled by fear and repression. It doesn't know what to do, so it found that the only way is to commit more massacres and atrocities in the hope that people will eventually be afraid. And it's backfiring because what's happening, people who are losing brothers and sisters and mothers and friends are actually deciding there's nothing else to lose. In the end, it's clear that both sides will continue to stand their ground. Reporting from Westwood, I'm Christy Wilcox.